If you're like me, you'll know that one of life's great pleasures is a clean home. But cleaning means using a lot of stuff that's made from plastic. So this plastic-free July, we met two Tauranga mothers who decided plastic and cleaning products don't need to go hand in hand. Lucas de Jong went to learn a thing or two. They hide around every Kiwi home, a necessary tool for cleaning, or so we thought. We have a shared loathing for plastic, like unnecessary plastic. Tauranga friends Christy and Stina wanted cleaning to change. I was a full-time mum actually for about 10 years and literally the day that I put my third child into school, half an hour later Stina met me for a meeting to discuss this idea she had. The eco cloth. I knew this cloth from at home that was invented in Sweden 70 years ago. We took that product out, we drove from one end of the country to the other, just knocking on the doors of buyers and supermarkets, literally, no appointments. Then they grew. So what is this? This is your office. <laughs> what are you doing? This is actually the kids' toy room. Oh my and, god. And uh, so this room is filled to the brim, the garage is filled to the brim, the tool shed's full to the brim. And Stina's got the same thing going on in her house. These are all the alternative to single-use paper towels. And you can actually use it, wash it and reuse it up to 85 times. This is, without a shadow of a doubt, the most popular product. Over three years, they've targeted something we all use. We produce a loofah that's stitched on, so it's from the loofah plant, and it's stitched onto a cellulose sponge derived from wood pulp. And designed a plastic-free alternative. The dish brush is a long, skinny piece of beech wood and it's got curvature on the end with a skinny head. So you can get it into champagne glasses, <laughs> tight jars, baby bottles. It's a really good thing for the baby market. Love you never would have known you'd become an expert in this <laughs> 10 years ago, right? No, Do you guys love cleaning? I would Listen, I love to say things. that I was, but <laughs> I'd be called out by every person that knows me. And now, they've got this. I mean, what is that? It's a little piece of magic. <laughs> A Kiwi-made cleaning concentrate that only ever uses one bottle. We tried overseas and we just couldn't put our hand on our heart and know that they were completely natural. So we've worked for 18 months formulating this with some scientists in Auckland. Powders and then with some natural essential oils. So we called a few labs in New Zealand and was lucky to find a lab that has seen the same trend we've seen and said, well, this is something we actually want to develop skills in. It looks simple, but it's actually not simple. <laughs> <laughs> the average household consumes 30 bottles of cleaning spray per year, so that's in one year. And we're about 1.8 million households in New Zealand, so that's 53 million single-use plastic bottles. Anyone will be sitting in about 10 years from now, and they'll be like, oh, you remember back then when we bought a single-use plastic spray bottle every time we cleaned? Like, what were we thinking? I mean, we're in our mid-40s now, so we're not here just to go out and make a buck, it's, it's got to be a little bit more meaningful than that. We have this really big passion that sits up here for everything that we do. Yeah. So the whole comedy is built that the more we can grow, the more profit we can gain, the more we can sell, the more we can push back into all these good projects that we're passionate about. And they're not done yet. We've never wanted it to be a cottage industry. We've got massive plans. I said to Stina, you know, we're getting Australia nailed. I'm thinking the States and UK next. Floors, windows, toilets. toilets. There's a range of areas that we want to go in and, and make a change. You don't have to go full eco in your entire house. Just switch one thing for one thing. That's one little change you've made and you're better than yesterday, so good on you. Because a little change is a good change, but together, can make a world of difference.